A local family just outraged and calling for action after the grave of a murdered 16 year old was defaced, as you see here, with pink paint. This is in Brockton. And her family says she did not deserve this. Yeah, there are no leads in this right now. However, as WBC's Mike Sullivan tells us, the family is determined to make sure this doesn't happen again. A wound never heals if it never gets a chance to. Emotion-wise, I feel like I've cried all my tears. Tiffany Andre lost her sister Chantel 14 years ago. She was gunned down while walking home from a baby shower in Brockton. The last image I did have of her is them putting her in the back of the ambulance. When she spotted her foot twitch. Right there in me, something told me, like, you know, this is it. More than a decade later, the tears continue to roll down her cheek. It was almost like... We're, go we're reliving this thing all over again. This week, vandals covered her grave in pink paint. It was like someone took a gallon of paint and just spilt it here. I don't think you can just walk into Home Depot and buy a pink paint. Chantel's mother, Stephanie, lives overseas now. What she doesn't know is this isn't the first time the grave has been vandalized. I didn't tell her about everything that I found here from human urine, human poop. The emotional cut is constantly reopened, even after Darien Ware was originally convicted of Chantel's murder. He actually got his case overturned um, due to uh, state trooper statements. They gave him manslaughter from a first degree murder charge to manslaughter. It's still fresh to her. In Stephanie's absence, Andre and her friends began scrubbing away this latest setback. There was one of Shai's friends here. Um, he was cleaning it with a razor. Moving forward, they're trying to have her body removed and cremated. And then we started looking into the price of it. <laughs> and I can't believe it's so much money. Since then, they've been attempting to raise the money online. We just want her to be at peace, and this is not peace. Perhaps she will find it at home with family. In Brockton, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.